everyone. My name is Igor. I'm uh, representing a company called Circularize. Uh, today I'm going to talk about what we do, and that is digitization of the plastics industry. We believe that by tracing materials and sharing data about them, we can enable circular economy at scale. Before I talk a little bit more about our solution, I would like to talk about plastics. For the last 70 years, we collectively produced over 8 billion metric tons of plastic, while only 9% of that has ever been recycled, which means that over 70% of all the plastics that has ever been produced uh, ends up in the environment. I think it's uh, pretty clear that plastic uh, presents a pretty huge problem. At the same time, we uh, use it practically everywhere. We use it in healthcare, we use it in plastic packaging, you can find it in the furniture, you can find it in your car. So just discarding plastic or saying that we're never going to use it again is not really a solution. The solution should be redefining the way we think about plastic, the way we use plastic, and the way we live with plastic. And we at Circularize believe that that is possible to do through supply chain transparency. Uh, why we do what we do now? So for the last few years, we've been seeing that the consumers are becoming a lot more conscious. They, uh, they demand uh, companies to become more sustainable and uh, increase their sustainable portfolio. Uh, at the same time, the governments are also seeing the benefits of, uh, of uh, becoming more sustainable. So they're putting new regulations in place. And now with the new regulations coming in place and with the, with the consumers uh, demanding more sustainability, uh, on the bottom of the screen, you can see the OEMs. Uh, OEMs and brands, they feel the pressure. And also, they actually want to become more sustainable. But the problem is that they don't have any visibility in their supply chains. Currently, only 65% of the procurement leaders uh, have any visibility beyond tier one. But when we talk about supply chains, they're a lot more complex than tier one. So as we go into tier two, tier three, tier four, the supply chain becomes a lot more complex. At the same time, the transparency within the supply chain becomes, uh, disappears. So the OEMs, they uh, request uh, uh, companies uh, up their supply chain uh, to provide more information, uh, but they cannot get access to this information. On the other side, we have the plastic manufacturers, the resin suppliers, that also see the value of showing that their material is sustainable, but because the supply chains are so complex, they cannot communicate this information about the materials. And when they do communicate this information or when they try it, they're using very old uh, systems, paper-based systems, just sending each other documents. So we at Circularize are trying to solve that. And what we do should sound fairly easy. Uh, we, we work with the companies in the, uh, that produce plastics and we take the physical plastic resin and we create a digital version of that. Now the digital version of that not only represents the plastic resin, but it also has all sorts of information attached to it. And this information can be uh, some sort of certificates. Uh, this information can be the bill of materials. Maybe it's something else. Now, as the plastic resin moves uh, uh, up the supply chain, uh, something happens to it. The, uh, it. It undergoes certain processes and it becomes components. And exactly the same thing happens in the digital part of the supply chain. Now, our system, as you can see on this slide, uh, let's say if we take a base chemical and it undergoes the polymerization process. In the end of it, you get a polymer resin. And this resin is used in the next process. So in the end of the day, when you look at the whole supply chain, and uh, you can look how the raw material becomes a component, and then in the end of the day, becomes an actual product. And exactly the same journey you can follow in the digital world. So when a brand, uh, for instance, gets their products, they're able to track 
where the material came from, what is this product actually made of, and then they can see all the other information that is associated with this. This technology allows these companies to share some parts of their data, just for instance about sustainability aspects, but not to share all the data about their materials. And that's also the reason why we've been getting a lot of traction in the plastic industry recently, with uh, Porsche being one of our latest clients, uh, pilot clients. With them, we were able to trace raw materials from the beginning of the production to the final car, after which they actually connected that to their application and they were able to show the difference between the CO2 emissions uh, and water used for the recycled materials and the virgin materials.